Hey guys, I'm Katie at Screenscape, and you will never guess I'm back to tell you about some more new features that we're introducing. These are called time date apps. I'll be making templates using them, but I just want to give you a really quick introduction. So starting with today's date, this has so many use cases. It adds a layer in that will automatically update to the current day. So tomorrow I won't have to update this. It'll change to May 9th and so on. This is super useful for templates that might have a schedule on them or a monthly calendar of events, um, end of quarter, anything like that, that you need uh, people to just see what day it is. This will be great. The beauty of these apps is that you won't have to log in every day and keep updating them. You can customize them just like any other layer. So you can add background color, you can add a border. You could have it be the focal point of a media item or you could have it be a discrete feature. Depending on your need for it, you can customize it completely and pretty much just use it exactly as you would a regular text layer, except that you don't have to update it every day, which is great. Next on the list is current time. This is just like the current date layer, except that it's a clock. It's going to use the location that your hardware is set at, so you can customize that under your hardware page to make sure that it's the right time for you. And if you go ahead and click on this little gear here, you can also pick a format for your clock. Um, so there's lots of options. We're gonna be constantly changing this, making it better uh, for you guys to have as much control as you need. And again, you can also use all of the layer styles. And so again, you could have it as the main focal point of your media item if you just want one large clock on your screen, or it could be a discrete little addition to your design. This is especially great if your playlist is set to full screen mode, but you still want the clock or some of this information. You can just put it directly on your media item. And next up are days since and days until. I'm sure the names give you a pretty good hint, uh, but basically you do the same steps. You go here and click on the gear and it's gonna ask you to input a date. So for days since, I'll go to the past and save that. And it automatically generates the number. So you don't have to log in every day. This would be great for like a days since last workplace accident or lost time incident. Uh, days since record was last broken at the gym, um, days since a promotion started, uh, literally so many, so many potential uses for this. And days until is the exact same method. You select the day that you're looking for. So for example, Christmas, it's automatically going to do the math for you and update every day up until that point. And just like the current time and current date, you can use all of the layer styles that we have to customize it to look exactly how you want. So you can put days until Christmas, you can put days until end of quarter, if you're doing internal communication, um, pretty much anything that you're looking forward to, days until summer vacation, days until uh, your CEO's birthday, whatever it is that you need. You just set it and forget about it. And that is the beauty of these new features. You don't have to log in every day. They're going to automatically update. Um, so you don't have to be constantly worrying about are my screens relevant. And so those are our new time date apps. And we're super excited for you guys to try them out. So leave me a comment below if you like them. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to our channel, all that good stuff. Uh, and we'll see you next time.